Ladies, if you're listening, maybe you're not, but you <sighs> stop listening to Miss Sprinkle Sprinkle. <laughs> She's going to mess. Some of that might work for some. It might work on the lane. Right. But I, 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 I wouldn't do it. And unfortunately, this finessing culture, this whole stuff, even with men, this whole thing, I'm trying to get up on her uh, or, or the woman. I'm trying to get up, get one up on you. You're, you're going to block your blessing. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like you. Let me just bring up the video. Let me just bring up the video because it's so embarrassing. I saw this. I, I played this video on my live uh, the other day, and this is embarrassing. This stuff, this miss sprink, this sprinkle sprinkle stuff that this that BS that you're 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 literally killing yourself. Now, here's the thing with especially ladies of of today, the opportunities that they get to have to basically sell, basically sell themselves, meaning they get to be in a position where they can be around men with status without having a talent. You know what I'm saying? Like they could just qualify. Or they'll talk about, you know, how these the male centered podcast having all these women on there and how oh, all of them are dumb. They don't know nothing. Oh, they just all only fans, broads and stuff like that. But on the I look at it like this. What an opportunity for you to ha- like not have a talent, offer nothing to the game, but still be able to go on podcasts. Right. <laughs> or TV shows or Internet shows with with, with million of subscribers, million uh, uh, eyes watching you and they have nothing to sell <laughs> they, they have nothing they, they, they're not prepared they don't got no they, they don't got no talent they don't have like you would think to have that opportunity i'm talking about to, be, to have the opportunity to be around these high value men right or these people of status and they can they cannot parlay it into anything they can't they can't parlay the attention that they have they can't parlay it for them to get more money in the future it's just it's it's <laughs> you'll be like wow and <laughs> you'll you'll literally be like stop what, what what are these hoes doing half the time where are they getting their advice from and i think girls like sprinkle sprinkle has something to do with it but now me personally i don't mind her being on youtube like to me like cynthia g to me is the evilest because of what she was actually preaching like that the, the stuff that she was <laughs> like like this is something that you're really not even allowed to really talk about. But since she was talking about black men, you know, it was able to go on without not many black women checking her, in my opinion. And there were black women checking her, but not enough for <laughs> not not enough for me. Anyway, so um, let's play this video. We're going to have a light skinned girl. I don't know if she's a half breed or not, or she's just like one of those light skinned girls with two black parents. I don't know if it's that or she's a half breed, but she's coming in there with the spirit of finessing. And because she's in the spirit of finesse and she ends up blocking her own blessings. Take a look. You like to travel? Huh? You like to travel, like overseas? Yeah. What's, like, where do you like to go? Germany. Germany? Mm-mm. What you like about Germany? Snow Peach. <laughs> oh, I don't even like that response, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you. I love Germany. Wait, what you be doing over there? Living. Living? Why you shake your head like that? Germany, though? No. I don't know. I'm just not. I like Turks and Caicos. Like when, beaches, when, when Jamaica. Nigga took, when nigga took you there? I'll just be over there. Hey, I just, I just I, I'm, there. I, how much it cost? When I was over there? Yeah. Like the whole trip? No, how, how much your flight cost? Um, it depends. Like, no, how much did your flight that you bought cost? Oh, to where? Turks and Caicos. Like a thousand? You're just guessing because you just rolled your eyes and said like a thousand. Why are you worried about that? You gonna, buy, you gonna pay for me? Nah, I'm just saying. I just don't like liars. She said, I'm not lying. I didn't go to Because I'm just trying to see what you know. I know a lot. Okay, me too. So she ain't go to Turks. Nah, she went to Turks. I may or may not. But I don't, I don't think she paid for it. You know what I'm saying? I may or may not pay. I may or may not pay. Yeah, I, don't, I, I don't trust it. So it's up to her. She yes or no. Me, me personally, I don't trust it. You don't trust me? No. Why? You just, That's you crazy. just up here capping. I'm not lying. You just capping. <laughs> Whatever. I guess we're not gonna go on the trip. Cause I'm gonna tell you if I like you on the trip. But. So you want me to take you on the trip to t- tell me if you like? What you say? <laughs> I was gonna All tell right, you baby. on the trip. Chill out, baby. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it! You can't make this shit up. <laughs> oh man. Are women are- man. Shout out also, rest in peace to Kevin Samuels. Because I, I remember seeing that video and the, the lady <laughs> that he was sitting <laughs> That was hilarious at that time. But li- like I said, the, uh, this finessing mentality, this, 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 bruh, bruh. This, this, it's just embarrassing because clearly she's getting, the advice that she's getting is from, if the light-skinned girl is listening, I don't know if she's going to come across this video. You never know. You never know. Whoever, whatever girl that was giving you information, she hated you, dog. <laughs> I'm just saying there are 304s giving information to three uh, other ladies 
And what they don't realize is men and women are different. How a man treated you is not probably how he's going to treat the next broad. You were probably for play play. And another girl, he's looking at, oh, maybe I can hold her up in the air. Maybe I can um, put a ring on her. Maybe I can present her to the world, to my family. You know, and a lot of the times it's not even a, a matter of behavior. It's just a matter. Sometimes it's just a, a matter like it's just a matter of looks. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So a lot of 304s just can't get over that. Some girls are stepping stones to the girl that the man really wants, especially when you're talking about a man with options. And there's a lot of girls that got finessed or played with men by men with options. And because they don't qualify to be held up in the air by a man with options, they are taking out their anger on the rest of the world by leading a lot of these hoes astray. Because there are a lot of I'm talking about there are a lot of decent looking girls out here that could be doing really well in the dating market or just in the marriage market, meaning they could literally be straight. I'm talking about don't even have to go to college. Don't even have to work, really, if they play their cards right. But unfortunately, <laughs> they're getting their information from these finessing, uh, what's it, the, the Shireen 07s, that's the Sprinkle Sprinkle Girl. You know, the, uh, the Cynthia G's, even though Cynthia G's message was more on just just straight just straight hate. You know what I'm saying? It's just straight hate. But there's a lot of, you know, the you got a lot of sugar girls, making YouTube channels, all these, how to finesse a man. And it's, and it's like, bruh, <laughs> just stop. all she had to do was be nice. All she, because it's not, it's not just a matter of the rapper here. Cause he's, he's a rapper and a YouTuber, I believe. And it's not a matter of just getting his intention. Other guys are watching this and they're looking at you and they're looking at who you are. And they're literally like, wow. They already put you like the average guy or even I'll say the average guy with options or say other YouTubers because other YouTubers are watching. And be like, Oh, can I get this girl on, on my show? That's how it works. You know, a lot of the times they see that clip and they're looking at you and they're just like, OK, well, I know what to put that category, that girl in the category of in escort category, basically, you know, just give her a little money and hopefully she buzzes off, <laughs> you know. So let me break down the video a little bit more in depth. Oh my God! Um, you like to travel? Huh? You like to travel? Like now, if a girl's already asking about, she is she interviewing you? Like you know what I'm saying? Like interviewing you, even though she's supposed to impress him, but she's interviewing you like that. And first of all, just that interview style—that's already red flag number one. And then any girl that's talking about, oh, you like to travel and stuff, you really should just automatically <laughs> just just put just let you, as soon as you see travel, she talk talking about travel traveling. This is um, that's a red flag. That's a massive red flag. Massive red flag. But let's go. Overseas. Yeah. What's like? Where you like to go? Germany. Germany. Mm -mm. What you like about Germany? Snow Beach. <laughs> oh, I ain't like that response, man. I ain't gonna do. Now, this gotta be the dumbest broad on earth. I don't know who's giving. This, I don't know who gave this girl advice on how to speak with certain people. But first of all, to say that you you talking about Germany don't got no beach, what, bruh? Every. <laughs> Every damn near every dude, Connecticut has beaches <laughs> like every other city or town has some kind of a, a, a lake or a beach or something. I don't know which what, not. Well, not every it's not every city has a beach, but definitely every country has. <laughs> Do you know how big Germany is? You talking about there's no beaches on Germany. What What is she talking about, dog? This is this is this is the this is the problem. This is the problem. And as and then on top of that, to just shake your head when he says Germany, instead of just inquiring, hey, what do you like about Germany? I've never been there before. You could literally finesse through that 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 route, or you could just be like, Man, I never what be going on in Germany? And just be a little nicer instead of just being on some interview type shit ish. And this is gonna be the same this will be the same girl, oh, men are intimidated by me. No, they're just they don't want to fuck with you, dog. <laughs> they ain't intimidated by nothing. Now from my research on this guy, Primetime, he's from Germany. Now you basically dissed his entire <laughs> his his uh his his goddamn tribe. <laughs> right? And you did this, this this you already dissed his entire tribe. And now you think you're gonna get some results out this man right after that. This is crazy. I love Germany. Wait, what you be doing over there? Living. Living. Why you shake your head like that? Germany not. I don't know. I'm just not I like Turks and Caicos. Like, now she said Turks and Caicos. Now 
to the uh, average people, it's pro- is like the average person watching this video, they're like, oh, she's just one of those girls that just do this. Oh, she only been to Turks and Caicos or she been to Jamaica. And that, that's the only place that she knows. It's the, the typical landing spot. But me, she ain't never been nowhere, dog. She ain't been to no Turks and Caicos. She said Turks and Caicos be, uh, because, because it's the most uh, trendy place that she saw on Instagram. And on top of that, there are girls. Mind you, I've seen some. I've seen some of these videos. I'll be watching some of these videos, these finessing videos. You gotta watch some of them if you, if you can. I've seen girls. A lot of girls will say, "You need to set your price up here and act like that you've been to that you're high." You basically, you gotta act like you've been there before. Meaning, you gotta be. You gotta act like you're that. So the guy will will treat you right initially. That's what, they'll, they'll, that's the advice that they'll give to uh, girls. Now, that <laughs> that doesn't work long term. That might work on one other sucker, but that really does not work long term. But you know what? Like, like I said, the ladies, they, y- y'all can do whatever you want with that advice. Um, that's not good advice. <laughs> um, I would just all you really have to all you really have to to, to be is nice, <laughs> really. And you and you'll literally just stand out. It'll be it's literally girls that have made channels or just made content, just just being nice, and then they just literally get all these simp subscribers. It's it's that easy, really, to to be honest. But you know, it is what it is. When nigga took when nigga took you there, I just. Be over there. Hey, I just, I just, I, I'm, I, I, how much it cost? When I was over there? Yeah. Like the whole trip? No. Nah. See, she's stalling. She's stalling. She don't know how much it costs because technically, because I know she never been there. Now, or, now to, hi, and to him, he's like, he already, now, since I'm dealing with the average and him, in, in his mind, it's like, oh, because a dude paid you to be over there, which is most likely true, which is most likely true. But me personally, she ain't been nowhere. I, I can tell she. How much your flight cost? Um, it depends. Like, no, how much did your flight that you bought cost? Oh, it's so weird. Turks and Caicos. <laughs> like a thousand. <laughs> Just, look how much she stole. She goes like a thousand too. By, by the end of it, she she don't know. She don't even know. She don't even know the average cost of a plane ticket, which shows she, she she ain't been nowhere. She don't even know. Like even even if somebody bought, even if somebody flew her out, they would she would need to see the the price of the ticket so she can send the price to, to the sugar daddy. Right. Yes, because you just rolled your eyes and said like a thousand. Why are you worried about that? You gonna buy? You gonna pay for me? Nah. Oh, this is where the straggle comes out. Oh, you, you what, what, what you worried about that? You, you trying to pay for me? That's when the straggle comes out. I'm just saying. He's exercising the straggle spirit, <laughs> exercising the finessing, uh, escort spirit. I just sound like liars. She said. I'm not lying. I didn't go to Because I'm just trying to see what you know. As soon as she said that, I'm not lying. This is literally this. It's that same tone that these girls have had since middle school. I'm not lying. <laughs> It's the same exact tone. I'm talking about all races, mind you. She kind of looks like a half breed, though. Now that I'm looking at her, she kind of looks like a half breed. But yeah, she 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 look way too fair skinned. I know a lot. Okay, she's gotta be. She's gotta be a half breed. So she ain't go to Turks. Nah, she went to Turks. But I don't think she paid for it. I'm saying. I may or may not paid. I may or not paid. See, as soon as she go into that, I may I may have not paid. And if the first of all, if a ninja did pay for it, she would just say, yeah, somebody. Uh, pay for it. She like a lot of the hoes. They don't mind saying that now. Nowadays, they don't mind because they'll be the first one to say, "Oh, you, you, what, what you, you intimidated <laughs> and stuff like." They'll say the stupid stuff like that. That's why I'm saying she never even went to Tur- Turks and Caicos. She she never went there. She never went nowhere outside of wherever um uh hut she came from in Atlanta. I, I don't trust it. So it's not to be her. She yes or no me. Me personally, I don't trust it. You don't trust me? No. Why? Egypt. Why do? Why do straggles do this? <laughs> Why do straggles do this, man? Oh man! And shout out to Coach Greg Adams. I got that term from him. Why do straggles do that? It's that. It's the exact same tone, no matter the the skin tone, mind you. You just out here capping. I'm not lying. You just see. I'm not lying. <laughs> it's crazy, dog. Okay. Whatever. I guess we're not gonna go on the trip because I'm gonna tell you if I like you on the trip. But. So you want me to take you on the trip to tell me if you like? What would you say? <laughs> I was gonna tell right, you on the trip. Chill out, baby. <laughs> Yeah, one of the comments said, "Women ain't got no game, bro." <laughs> and when you not faced by her looks, they be flabbergasted. Not even that. I'll take it a step further, man. If you turn down a girl for sex, she's gonna call you gay. This is why, like, it's oh, people always talk. Like, I've, I've been seeing this this thread lately because hoes will put certain things out there, like, uh, that like r- right now, like they they're they're putting things out there, like you know. Sometimes it's, it's hard for girls to say no when it comes to sex because we're, we're afraid that we're, we're going to get hurt for real. Now they're putting that out that out, out there. Like, basically, their body count tends to be high because they're afraid to tell a guy no. What, man? And you're just literally like, really? How about when a guy says no to the girl? 
if a guy i'm just telling you if a guy says no to he turns down a girl he's gonna get he's the girl's gonna talk shit about him i'm telling you from personal experience i'm telling you i'm telling you from guys from personal experience you turn down a girl for sex that's when th- that they're gonna turn homophobic on you real quick i'm talking about you're gonna you're gonna hear from different people you'll be like what the I never said all that to her or she's going to she's she's going to she's going to drag your name in the dirt. If you turn I'm talking about especially if you're a guy like me, where if the girl is coming up to me in her mind, she's doing me a favor in her mind. Right. So if that especially so if you're the average guy and the girl thinks that she's doing you a favor, it's always and you turn her down. She's got she, that's when the gay shaming starts. And all of that. That's uh, this is why I, I laugh when 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 women keep talking about oh, when a girl says no, we're gonna get hurt or uh, they're gonna call us sluts. They they drag her. I'm like, you guys do the exact same thing. <laughs> People act like that. It's just like like women act like it's just them that have to deal with uh, the consequences of rejecting uh, uh, the opposite sex or turning down somebody. It's interesting. But yeah, hoes ain't got no game. Women ain't got like if you t- if 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 it, it was up to women to pick up men like that, they can't. <laughs> Oh man! Wait, hold on. Oh, don't tell me, t- yeah, Tiffany's a straggle. <laughs> this is Tiffany from Uncle uh, Uncle and Earl. She's sticking up for the girl in the video. How can you, e- dude? I see in this in this mind you in this comment thread, I saw a lot of girls was just like, nah, this girl's embarrassing. Oh, she. Oh, maybe I maybe I did not read the comment thread re- correctly. There's people sticking up for this girl. Oh, my God. <laughs> OK, at least. Oh, my God. This is crazy. I didn't I didn't I didn't look. But I'll say all the, the the stuff that these hoes be doing. This is why, like now, as I see how 304s act now that they have freedom. Now I understand why once they go overseas, they have problems and or they get I'm talking about they get easily kidnapped <laughs> or they get targeted easy, like easily. Because this stuff where are you going to fly me out and all this? Oh, man, t- man, Bundy would have been having a field day with these hoes <laughs> in, 20, in, the 20, in 2024. He'd be having a field day. Now, mind you, men, you got to be careful about that flying girls out stuff because that's going to turn that's going to turn into a charge later on in life. Just to let you guys I'm talking about it's going to be 10, 20 years down in the future. These, these hoes are not going to be they're not saving their money that they're making. Once they hit in their 30s, 40s, look how these hoes act when they have like not one little thing of attention once they hit that wall and that attention leaves dude those lawsuits are going to be flying out meaning once anybody that flew them out they're going to put a lawsuit on the guy and say that they were trafficked trust me that's going to happen in the future anybody that you, you flew a girl out she's going to accuse you of tra- uh, of trafficking in the future trust me <laughs> oh man he said a flight to Turks is not a bad. <laughs> I didn't even want to bring that up. She didn't know because because the reason why she doesn't know that is because she never went there. <laughs> I wanted I didn't want to say anything on that on that end. I didn't even want to put that out there. Uh, just to let you guys, a flight to uh, uh, Turks and Caicos is not a thousand dollars. Oh man. Anyway, <laughs> that's why that's what I said. That's why I said she never been there before. She never been there before. Oh man. Oh man. I guess there's a lot of. 304s that was sticking up for her. <laughs> There's a lot of 304s sticking up for her. I, I missed it. But for her to say Germany don't got no beaches, I'm like, oh, she ain't been nowhere. That girl ain't never left <laughs> the state of Georgia or whatever Hubble she comes from. Let's see how much equals I know you ain't pay for shit. <laughs> but like I said, um, ladies, if you can, don't 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 be doing this stuff, man. Oh, I saw a comment here. It says a lot of them love a smart man, but not a man smart enough to see through them. Those are facts, though. Like women will say this, but they 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 don't know what they want. <laughs> they talk talking about, oh, he needs to be smart. They don't want a smart man because a smart man going to see past through the bullshit. A lot of first of all, men don't even get the credit. Like, I don't understand. I don't know why men don't get the credit for being able to be like. To really listen to a girl for like. 10 seconds and already be able to figure out okay which category should i put her in the take her serious category or i'll just tell her hey maybe why don't you start only the girls the girls i'm not taking seriously you're like yeah yeah that'll be good for you (laughs) 
<laughs> and they think you're praising them when you're doing that. But like I said, I made a video talking about Koi Ray when she was talking about her dad, when she was saying that her dad is jealous of her career. And I'm like, dude, your dad ran a source magazine. This is one of the, the most successful people in, in, in hip hop, you know, history. He's part of the industry. He's in he. He knows what happens to women in what women have to do in the industry. This is why he's hesitant. He doesn't want his daughter to belong to the game. That's why he's hesitant. It's not that he's jealous of you, but that's the new the new age of girls. Any dad that's going to stop their daughters from um, making an OnlyFans or going into the entertainment industry, he's going to be labeled a hater by his own daughter. You know, I already went over that. You could you guys could watch that video for yourself. It's, it's, it's a it's a real um, changing of the guard that we're seeing nowadays.